Hi there, my name is Stanley Steen from Team Debru and in this video you will learn how you can make money on Clickbank using the native ads of Taboola. So let's dive in. This video is brought to you by Debru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform. Alright, here we are inside the Debru tracker and in this video you will learn how you can make money on Clickbank by promoting their products using native ads of Taboola. All right, so uh, let's dive straight in and let's take a look at the offer first that we're gonna focus on. So today's offer is obviously a ClickBank offer, right? Uh, so it's gonna be this offer right here, the easy power plan, uh, basically a easy do-it-yourself kind of solar panel uh, thing. All right, it's a VSL lender, as you can see, VSL offer page. So we will be using a VSL landing page as well. Uh, we also have an affiliate page where you can uh, find some more information about the product, uh, get some more insights on how you could promote this product. And so that's the offer that we will be focusing on. So let's go to the Debru tracker and prepare our tracker for the launch of our campaign. So what do we need to do? First, we need to make sure that we have ClickBank added as an affiliate network and Taboola added as a traffic source. All right, let's start with the affiliate network. So I already have ClickBank in here, as you can see. So once you have added ClickBank to your Debru tracker, you don't have to do that for every campaign you launch. You only have to create the affiliate network once and the same goes for the traffic source, okay? However, if you don't have ClickBank in your list of affiliate networks yet, uh, then click on create, click affiliate network and select ClickBank from the list right here and press next and as you can see, you're all good to go. Everything is pre-filled out. Select your workspace and click on save and now ClickBank has been added to your tracker. All right, we wanna do the same thing to the traffic source. So we will be using Taboola. Um, so you only have to add it once. I already have it in my tracker, but just to show you how it works, click on create and click on traffic source. Select Taboola from the list. There we go. Press next. And once again, everything is pre-filled out. So all you have to do is press save and you're good to go. All right, so now we have assured that we have added ClickBank as the affiliate network to our tracker and Taboola as the traffic source to our tracker. So now it is time to create the offer and the lender. Let's start with the offer. Uh, before we're going to create it inside the tracker, first I want to have my hop link, okay? So the hop link inside of ClickBank is basically your tracking URL, your personal link to that offer. Uh, so we're going to click on promote. Okay, so let's use another example. So let's use the new bed battery recondition course, okay? Uh, so we're going to promote it. We're going to enter our account name and click on generate hop links. Copy the hop link. And then we're going to go inside of the offers. Create offer. So we're now doing the new battery reconditioning. Initial, the affiliate network is ClickBank, the country tag, uh, let's say we want to promote this in the UK. Okay. And battery recondition. Um, ClickBank, that's fine. All right, we're gonna paste in the offer URL. Make sure to always check this bar below as this bar will show you when you have to add any parameters to the end of your offer link. So simply just copy and paste them and you're good to go. Let's press save. All right. Next up, we want to create a landing page, okay? So first we need to create the landing page itself and then we'll create it inside the tracker as well. Uh, so let's go to the landing page builder and we're gonna go to the landing page templates. So for this offer, we will be using a, uh, a VSL uh, since the offer page also has a VSL. So let's go native, all right. There are quite some VSLs 
in the uh, template list. So we will just have to find the one that we want to work with. All right. Oh, perfect. Let's uh, let's use this. Uh, so battery recondition. That's exactly what I want. All right. Cool. So now we have this landing page and inside the editor, we can make any changes that we want. Okay. So we can change the headline. We can change the image, the text, the images down here. Um, and once we're done with editing our lander, then all we need to do is add our destination URL. Okay. So in the destination URL, you want to paste your your click URL. Uh, so first we're going to copy that click URL inside the tracker. I'm going to click on my name, click on the tracker settings and go to the tracking URL. And right here is where I find my click URL. So I'm going to copy my click URL and paste it in here in the field of the destination URL, change the links, links have been updated. Then we're going to publish this website. All right, there we go. All right, so our landing page is live now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my landing page URL and then we're going to go back into the tracker and add our lander. Okay, so press create, press lander. We're going to select the workspace first. The country tag, we said we were going to promote this in the UK. Then the lander name, so let's call it battery recon. And I'm going to paste my lender URL in here. All right. We don't have to change anything to the lender. We're all good now. And this is all fine as well. So let's press save. All right, cool. So we have added the affiliate network. We have added the traffic source. We have added the offer page and the landing page, which, which means that now we can start creating our campaign inside the debut tracker. So we're going to click on campaigns. Create, I'm using the campaign simple format. All right, the traffic source is going to be Taboola. United Kingdom, let's give this campaign a name. There we go. Uh, the transition between ad and campaign funnel, we want to set that on redirect and the campaign destination, you have the option to create a path inside a pre saved flow and select your flow right here. Or you can create your path while you are creating your campaign. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, then we have landers and offers that we want to use. And we're going to do the transition to offer a 302. Then we want to add one lender and one offer since we have one of both. Uh, so this is going to be the lender. And let's see. Maybe I overlooked it. Oh, there it is all the way at the top. Perfect. So we've selected the landing page that we just created and the offer page that we just created. So now let's press save. And here is our campaign URL. So I'm going to copy this campaign URL because we need it later on. Okay. So now we can move towards Taboola and start creating our campaign there and start creating our ads. Okay. So let's open up Taboola. We're going to create a new campaign. First, we want to give the campaign a name. So battery recon CB. Then the brand name. Uh, so let's say um, energy efficiency. Okay, then we have the marketing objective. Uh, so that is going to be is it? I think it is. Yeah, online purchases. All right. Uh, then we have the schedule uh, so we can start running as soon as approved or specify a start and end date. Okay. Uh, so let's say we want to uh, start running in uh, the end of August. There we go. No end date. That's fine. Days and hours. I'm going to leave it to 24 seven at the start. But once I have some 
a very detailed information about specific hours and specific days uh, that do or do not convert, I might want to use this schedule right here. All right, but for now we're leaving it on 24 seven. Then we have the campaign targeting, okay? So first we want to target based on country and we said we were gonna promote this in the UK. All right, there we go. Uh, locations to be included, we can target the entire country, which is what I prefer at the start of my campaign to generate a lot of data on all the different cities and regions inside the UK. However, we can also include or exclude specific regions and states, cities or postal codes. Uh, but like I said, I will be starting with the entire country. Then we have the platform. So do we want to run desktop, mobile and or tablet? Um, let's let's keep it on desktop. All right. Since we chose desktop, we don't have the option to uh, select the uh, the connection type. But obviously, if you have mobile, you can select whether or not you want to use Wi-Fi only traffic. Then we have the operating systems. We can include or exclude specific, op specific operating systems or operating system versions, as you can see. Uh, but I need some data to tell me which operating systems seem to be working with my campaign in the UK and which don't. Same goes for the browser. For the browsers, we do not have a browser version function to target specific browser versions. Uh, so the optimization doesn't go that deep in this case, uh, but it should be enough. I'm not even going to touch this at the start of my campaign. So I need quite some data to even start with the actual browser optimization. Um, so the browser version optimization is a very deep optimization. You will need a lot of data. Uh, and about seven out of 10 campaigns won't make it that far. However, it would be nice to have that function, right? All right, but let's leave it as is. Then we have block sites, which is optional. So basically you can create somewhat a blacklist for your campaign. Then we have the audience targeting. So if you have a saved audience inside of Taboola, you can select it here to include or exclude it. Uh, then we have the marketplace audience. Uh, so this goes uh, business to business, behavior and interest, demographics, intent and other. So you can uh, target people uh, who basically match in these kind of audiences. And then we have the contextual audiences. Uh, so these are arts and entertainment, business and industry, right? Basically interests almost, okay? Uh, but we're gonna leave this blank for now. Let's press next. Then we have the budget and bidding, okay? So first we can, we're gonna set a daily budget. Let's set it on 250. Then we have a uh, spending limit. So it can either be a monthly limit or a lifetime limit. I'm going to use the lifetime limit. And then we have the bit. Um, so let's see. Yeah, it's, <laughs> I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's set the CPC on 50 cents. Uh, that's fine. Then we have the bid strategy. So with a smart bid, Taboola will automatically adjust the bid um, depending on the supply and demand on their uh, on their websites, on their placements, basically. Uh, but also they will look at the best results, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It will sort of like automatically optimize your your bid strategy. However, you can also do the fixed bid. There's no better way here okay it really depends on your style of affiliate marketing if you're more of a lazy affiliate marketer who doesn't want to look at his campaign that often then maybe it's a good idea to have the smart bit however there are also a lot of affiliate marketers who really love to have control themselves who check their campaign at least three times a day and make all the adjustments that need to be made themselves. Okay, so for those, we have the fixed bit. So it depends what kind of affiliate you are, basically. I personally like to have the, uh, the fixed bit, but I can imagine if, um, you know, if you don't have that much time to check your campaigns, if you don't have that much time to work on your campaigns, then maybe a smart bit would be a better choice. Okay, all up to you. 
Then we have the ad optimization. So uh, we can do it optimized, which is recommended. Uh, the exposure of the items in your campaign will de be determined by our algorithm and your most engaging ad will be served more than others. All right, so they will be looking at how are these ads performing and we're gonna take the best performing ads and show those the most, okay? However, we can also do an A-B testing and uh, what is quite nice is that we can set an end date for this A-B testing. And that's what I really like about Taboola, okay? So the A-B testing basically means, okay, we're gonna start out with giving each and every ad about the same amount of impressions so that we have a very clear data on these different ads. Then when we have met the end date of this A-B testing period, that's the point where we will let the algorithm do its work and start optimizing for us, okay? So it's a little bit of both words. We still use the algorithm, but we don't use it at the start with this A-B testing uh, option. Nope, we're going to give equal amount of impressions to each of these ads. And then once we have met the date that we've set to assure that we have enough data to make the algorithm, uh, to let the algorithm make accurate decisions, then we'll let the algorithm do its work, okay? So I really like this, uh, this function. Uh, let's set it on, uh, on the A-B testing. Then we have the CPA goal, which is op optional, uh, but they do recommend it. Uh, setting a cost per action goal, this will help you measure how your campaign is performing against your goal, okay? So you can set that right here. Then we have the tracking codes, third-party tags, and any additional comments or requests to the val validation team, basically the account manager. All right, and once we're done there, we can click on create and add ads, which is what we're gonna do. Uh, unable to create claim. Um, okay. All right. So this cannot be more than 9,000. All right. Good to know. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Creation mode. So with variation, you only have to upload your different images and your different headlines, and they will create all kinds of variations with those images and headlines. However, if you have very specific headlines that fit on very specific images, you don't want to mix and match them, right? So then you can do them one by one. I'm going with the, uh, with the variations usually, because usually I create one campaign with one angle in which I can drop everything that I have for that angle, mix and match them, and we're all good, and we can find the golden nugget that way, all right? So that's what I usually do. The landing page URL. Don't paste your landing page URL here. Even though it says landing page URL, you want to paste your campaign URL here, okay? So that's the one we copied right here. When you create your campaign in the tracker, copy that link and paste it in here, all right? Uh, if you want, you can load an image from the headline of your landing page URL. I like to pick them myself. If I want to use the same image on my landing page, I'll do it myself. I'll don't let them do it. I can do it better. Okay. All right. Then we have the content. Uh, so let's start with the, uh, with the headlines. Um, all right. This simple trick will help you save hundreds of dollars on your electricity bill there we go perfect uh, we can add a description as well if we want right uh, I would recommend it and we can add a CTA button um, so I would do something like learn more and then in the description be a little bit more descriptive about uh, what the offer actually means um, this man discovered a secret method that uh, that's electricity companies don't want you to know since it will allow you to generate enough electricity for your uh, for the whole family 
for free. All right, there we go. All right, cool. And then uh, for the headline two, do the same thing, right? It's the same process. You can click your de description CTA button and enter your headline. Awesome. And then once you're done with your headlines, it's time to add the images, okay? Uh, let's check the best practices real quick to see what dimensions are best working. So the best working dimensions are um, right here, 10, uh, 1000 by 600, my bad. <laughs> 1000 by 600. So we're going to go to Canva by 600. <clears throat> and I'm going to open up Google. Free energy generator, whatever. Um, I'm just putting in some random search terms and we can, we'll, we will see what we can find. Uh, I don't really want to do this kind of stuff. It doesn't really create any curiosity for me. I mean, maybe for a diehard do-it-yourselfer, they will be like, oh, that looks so cool. But to me, it looks like, okay, I don't know what I'm looking like. Am I curious to find out what it is, what it does? Nah, not really. So we need an image that grabs the attention, that creates that curiosity so that they will read our headline and that's where we will pique their interest, all right? So the image just needs to catch a lot of attention, basically. So let's say uh, weird energy generators. Okay. Let's see if we can find something good. Mm -mm -mm. So for the um, <clears throat> for the energy niche, I uh, personally find it always a little bit hard to find the right images for me because I am totally not involved with this topic. Okay, I'm not a big do-it-yourselfer. I um, would probably break more than I can make. So for me promoting a offer like this um, wouldn't be my strongest ads because it's not something that I have passion about, that I'm interested in. Uh, so they will not be the strongest ad. Hence is why if I want to launch a campaign, I would personally probably not pick this uh, specific offer. Or if I did, I would ask somebody else to create my ad who has more with the energy slash you do it yourself kind of niche. Okay. And that's why we why we say okay pick a vertical that is kind of close to you doesn't mean you have to work in the energy niche for years but if you sh if you have some interest in do it yourself products in energy generation then you'll be you'll be creating far better ads than i am if i'm totally not um, interested in the in the subject okay so that is a good thing to consider as well to pick a vertical that's a bit closer to yourself uh, instead of picking something that doesn't interest you at all okay um, energy um, let's see transformation no this is not what I'm looking for uh, energy inventions weird energy inventions right because we want to catch that attention oh this looks awesome not exactly what I was going for but that looks cool um, all right let's see let's see uh, too bad of that that watermark at the bottom it would have looked pretty cool um let's see if we have something else <laughs> oh this would be so funny all right let's see more so with see more you can see related pictures but we do see a lot of solar power which is not what we want okay diy energy creator Just trying some different search terms here. 
Now this is quite interesting, but this doesn't look like it can provide a household of energy, right? Um, so I like the fact that it's do DIY, that it looks like a windmill, but Now this looks more interesting um, because I'm like, okay, what's going on? Okay, so for this I can see, right? But for this one, it's more of a um, interesting picture to me. Let's let's first see more. I see quite some good ones here. All right, um, we do want uh, some some uh, contrast in the picture as well. <clears throat> so make sure to keep an eye out for that as well. Um, No, that's too much. I think. Let's go. Let's go with the um, this one right here. So I'm gonna save this image, and I'm gonna drop it inside of the Canva design that we just created. There we go. I'm gonna crop it myself because we have black borders, and I want them out. All right. Not the best quality of image, but we'll go with it. All right, we're going to download this image. By the way, don't forget to use the adjust buttons. They're your best friends. Play around with them to make them pop a little bit more. All right, I'm good. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, we're going to go back to, into Taboola and we're going to upload this image. And once again, you want to do this with all your images, right? So you can just all drop them in here and Taboola will create mix and match them with your uh, with your headlines and your descriptions. Also, they have stock images at Taboola. So let's see if they would have anything with energy. Okay, <clears throat> just curious, just curious. All right. Yeah, so not really the images we were uh, hoping for, but you can use this if you want. Please keep in mind, however, that these stock images are available to every affiliate using Taboola. So you may have competition using the same, um, this one is a good one as well, using the same exact creatives as you're using. Okay, so you want to keep that in mind as it might not be the best way to go, but you can use them if you want. Okay. All right. So, and then once you're done, once you have created all the, uh, the images and the headlines that you wanted to create, press submit. And now the Taboola team will review your ads to see if they are compliant. And once they're done with their uh, review and they have approved your ads, then your campaign can go live. So it will go live or it will wait for your start date depending on your settings. But then we're all good to go. And then we can start earning some money using ClickBank and the native ads of Taboola. So that's going to be it for this one. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button if you want to stay updated about any new videos coming out on this channel. Uh, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace out. This video is brought to you by Debaru.com, the number one affiliate marketing software platform.